Am I the only one who, when something exciting happens politically, wonders how the McLaughlin Group is going to handle it on Sunday? The McLaughlin Group is in some ways the godfather of, of TV punditry. It debuted in 1982, and, and it quickly established a format that the bitter and impassioned roundtable breakdown that is now mirrored every day on every channel. And then, then when a discussion's over, McLaughlin will offer something, something like this. The next man or woman to walk on the moon will be Chinese. And they were talking about health care. <laughs> I, f- I feel like nowadays the McLaughlin group is working on just a whole other level. It's, it's not simple discourse anymore. Listen to a recent conversation McLaughlin had with regular Pat Buchanan about whether Senator John McCain fully secured the Republican nomination. Question, does Romney's endorsement seal the deal? Is McCain now the inevitable Republican nominee? I ask you, Pat. Uh, John, absent celestial intervention, I think he's going to get the nomination. Absent what? Celestial intervention. Well, it happened, Pat. <laughs> hey, rest in peace, Paul Wellstone. John well, Hines was killed. Uh, well, it's, it, that's that's not, let's not yeah, speculate that's on it. Look, easy. death comes he's, in in the night on cat's paws, Pat. You never on know. On little cat's feet, that's the fog, John, that comes in on little I cat's feet. I changed it to cat. <laughs> Sam, Sam Bird be damned. And that, that is why I'm thrilled to introduce Singer and songwriter and rock star Andrew W.K., who was so inspired by McLaughlin's artistry, his poetry, that he's used it as a basis for a new rock song. If it happens- 